Yo, what is going on everybody? It is Tristan. Just started the screen recording and the video right here. We're going to be diving into a few sneakers right now that I feel like are some good ones to watch. Also some sneakers that are really good at re uh, just to resell right now. Like if you're just looking for some sneakers that are going to be some easy flips, uh, ones you're not really going to have to worry about like down the line, like you'll, you'll still be able to sell these down the line because they're still going to be popular. These are the sneaker models in particular I'd be looking for right now. Kind of made a video like this a few days ago, just discussing some good shoes to hold right now. This is kind of similar to that, but some of these aren't like like as great of holds if that makes sense but they will still be consistent sellers down the line will that be a higher prices can't say but uh some of these i definitely can say they'll be safe bets we'll get into all that just recording out here today you know i got some rain clouds above me it looks like so i'm gonna have to be you know straight to the point here basically in this video because i don't want to get rained on and i don't want my camera or my computer to get rained on so that's where the screen recording's on right uh but just you know recording out here today because uh you know my family's inside so obviously uh you know they're in there i don't want to be loud you know recording in the middle of the main room while they're all there watching tv so that you know that ain't gonna work out but again check out my instagrams any of that down below if y'all are interested you can go to my reels uh right here too enter for my military blue giveaway it's the pinned one on my page do not miss out i've mentioned that a ton recently though and don't forget i was trying to tune in likes on this video that's the goal and of course you guys can subscribe for more content like this just let me know that these are the types of videos y'all want more of but that's it why don't we dive into it so some of these releases are going to be old releases and some of them are going to be new releases. Now, first things first, Chicago JPEG SB Dunk Low. This is going to be one of the best sneakers to resell right now. I'm not saying it's an amazing hold. I'm not saying it's one that you know you need to go out the way and buy right now, right? But here are the current prices on them. Significantly down from that $400 price range that we got earlier. Personally, what I'm going to be doing right now, I'll probably go out the way, get my size 9 right now. Because I can get my size 9 under 200 bucks. I mean, yeah, I'm going to do that. So personally, I'm going to be making the move to get my you know personal size right now. Then if they happen to do a drop in the U.S., which I think they will, because if you go look at the Court Purple SBs, I mean, those are very, very similar uh, color scheme to these. I, I could see these eventually coming to the U.S. It's a Chicago colorway. I mean, like, come on, Nike. Like, you should know at least what you're doing here. Like, Chicago, USA hello drop it here it's like i don't know why this hasn't clicked with nike they're like okay we're gonna do the chicago colorway in europe and asia chicago is not in either of those locations nike okay so what are we doing but aside from that you know i i don't i don't know how often you know they mess up stuff like this like they'll for example i'll give you all another little joke here so remember when nike dropped the flash streetwear sp dunk low okay so they did like 40k pairs in the u.s and then they proceeded to drop 77 yes 77 pairs in the eu and then guess what they pushed back the drop a day in the eu and they said you know what we're gonna we're, we're, we're gonna fix this we're gonna make it right because people were flaming them like 77 pairs to drop on sneakers for a region why even bother they next day loaded 247 pairs is that even better no might as well just have not dropped the shoe in the eu i i, I didn't know anybody that hit the flash street wears in the eu but aside from that way off topic i think this is a good shoe to go out the way and get right now if you just you know want to look for some people in your local area to flip it to i think that's not a buy, uh, bad idea but if you just want a personal pair grab one now and then if they happen to drop them in the u.s you can go get them for retail then so you can kind of like average down but that's what i'll mention chicago sp dunk low or sb dunk low excuse me it's a nice pair uh, but I do think they're eventually going to drop in the U.S. Why they didn't do that first, again, I, I I can't tell you. Like, literally, Chicago, Chicago, SB. They drop in Asia and Europe first for the restock. I can't make this up. But aside from that, what we got going on here, uh, J Balvin 3s, we're coming up on the second pair that is about to drop, the all black colorway. These are starting to surge up in price. I have a few pairs I've been sitting on. Uh, 12 and a half, 13, 9 and a half. Hit me up on my Instagram if you need. But aside from the, you know, a little quick promo right there, um, these have been going up in price. And I think the main reason for these going up in price right now is the fact that we have the all black pair dropping very soon. And people, some people, including me, still haven't even picked up this pair. And they're like, oh shoot. I gotta go back and get the OGs. Or if they're gonna, you know, take an L on this one, they might just go get the OG pair. So that's one thing I wanna mention about this particular pair I see happening. I think these will be going up in price just for the simple fact that people are gonna take L's in the black pair. They're gonna want to go and grab this one because I do think the black pair is gonna be reselling for a pretty hefty price. We will see though. That's a really nice colorway, the Rio one. Um, and these, obviously, the Medellin Sunset, no complaints. But I, I, I just wanna say, if you haven't gotten your pair of these, I would definitely be looking to get it sooner or later uh, before the hype picks back up again you know around that may 22nd drop date i think that's when it's around um so just just keep that in mind you know the, the second pair is coming soon might as well go and grab the first before you can't so uh also 
selling really, really well right now. A lot of people really want the J Balvin's just because we're coming up on the other ones. So it's it's a good time to you know get these. You'll be able to make a good sale on them because the hype for you know J Balvin is going to be there. Makes sense. So. Hopefully you guys can understand that. Next one, this is kind of a safer uh, bet. You know, if you just need some like easy, easy local sales, easy consignment sales, easy. Honestly, not a bad long-term bet either. I would go with the Dark Onyx Slide. Not only was this the most popular item on Alias last month. Yes, according to their Instagram, you can go look at it right now. This was the most popular item on Goat slash Alias last month. So. Tons and tons of people still want Yeezy slides. I know we're all saying Yeezy is dead. Nobody wants Yeezy. Wrong. Wrong. We're just wrong. We have to We have to face the facts. We are wrong. There's plenty, plenty of people that still want Yeezys. I mean, we have we had the Military Blue Shock drop. Uh, we had, you know, some, some pretty decent SB restocks. It outsold all of those. All of those releases that just happened, it outsold all all of them so keep that in mind and also with the bread reimagines i always see the bread reimagined on the StockX training page guess what's right next to it this pair of slides right here so I, I i'm just gonna say this maybe get like a few pairs of these and put them away for a year just because i'm thinking by next summer if easy slides are still hot these are going to be doing really good because it's not going to be as many of them. It's a clean colorway. The Onyx colorway is already priced pretty high. But again, both have dropped a good amount because, you know, Adidas is going to take advantage of them continuously being able to restock these pairs. So I do think it is a bit risky, but I do think these are such consistent sellers. You won't... It, that at the end of the day, if you have to flip these because, you know, you're sitting on too many or, you know, you're not upping them, you're still going to be able to find a buyer. And that's the good thing about them. Like, the, there will always be buyers for these slots. And that's a good thing. So you're not going to ever, like, you know, be on something you won't be able to sell, if, if that makes sense, because these are just so popular. I mean, look, months, months, months after their, you know, initial release. And look, there's still, you know, hundreds of sales every three days. Still have the, always has the lightning bolt symbol. How many total sales do these have? I mean, let's check this out. This is going to be a crazy stat. 17K. That's pretty That's pretty good. That's not actually as crazy as I thought. But look, heading up in price in the summertime. Don't sleep in the Yeezy slides, y'all. If you can get them for like a 90, 90, 100 bucks right now, 105, I think that's a good bet. Get some of those big sizes, put them away. Forget about them. But aside from that, um, Italian camos. I discussed this in a recent video. This was kind of the sleeper from the recent series if that makes sense a lot of people really wanted the venice beaches a lot of people really wanted the phillies uh and the italian camos a lot of people wanted those too i mean everyone wanted all the Kobe's. you know what i mean but these weren't the ones i saw getting a lot of attention i saw the phillies and the venice beaches getting the most attention but these i feel like were kind of the sleeper from the set and also keep in mind they did thirty thousand of the phillies they did fifty thousand of the italian camos and then they did hundred eighty thousand of the venice beaches so it has the second least amount of stock or you could just say you know it's right down the middle compared to the recent three Kobe's we've had, that's 50,000 pairs. Also give the comparison, Mamba Cita Kobe's had around 50,000 pairs when they dropped on sneakers. So Italian Campbell's don't have a lot of pairs, you know what I mean, nor do the Phillies. I think looking at these and the Phillies, as just, you know, a hold, put them away for a year or two, maybe even long-term, I think that's a good bet because it's just like they didn't make any of them. Nike trolled us. They faked us out. They did 180,000 of the Venice beaches, and then they did less than a third of these, and then guess what? Even less of the Phillies. So it's like, you know what I mean? It's like the pairs that are really in demand, like the pairs that people really, really want, it's just like they know what they're doing. They know they're not making enough of them. They, you know, they're, they're cutting it down. They're making them a little bit harder to get. Just like what they're doing with the Jumpman Jacks. Everybody, a lot, not everybody, but a lot of people really want that sale colorway. They were like, oh, you, you, everybody wants it? You all want it? 13K pairs. Good luck. They do it all the time. The main reason it's done is to keep a shoe hyped and to keep it limited so the prices stay high on the markets. You know, they can sell further models down the line. You know what I mean? Keep it, the, Nike, I hope this is something that's understood by most people. Nike keeps certain models limited, certain colorways limited, so they can sell their other models. I think everybody knows this, but perfect example right here. They only made 50K of these. I know like 500,000 people want these, maybe more. Um, but yeah, you know, that's why the resale prices are so good. And I, that's why I think these are such a good long-term bet is because look at what they're going for. Bro, did y'all even drop these? Did y'all even drop these? Is, these are the same prices that early pairs were at. You know what I mean? It's like, did y'all even drop these? You know, <laughs> except via the back door. But aside from that, that's what I can mention. I think these are all really good plays right now uh, in terms of shoes that'll be easy to sell, shoes that could potentially go up in price or just ones that'll be safe long-term bets. These two... Yeah, I think these are really good ones, especially this one, because they duped us. They totally duped us on the Italian camos. Um, but that's what I can say. Uh, you know, just some decent plays on some good sneakers to resell right now. I wouldn't say all of them are hold. I would just say mainly this, this, and this to hold. This, 
I think it's extremely risky. The main reason is because I think they're going to do a drop in the U.S. There's no way. There's no way they d don't restock a, a, a Chicago colorway, right? Which they've restocked this year in two other regions. There's no way they don't bring it to the U.S. No way. Nike would literally be missing out on free money. But you know Nike loves to do that. They love to miss opportunity. I don't know why Nike does that. They're like, oh, capitalize on opportunity. Let's not. Fix yourself, bro. But that's all I need to say. Uh, if y'all want more content like this, check my Instagrams, any of that down below. Don't forget, enter for that military blue giveaway on that pin drill right there. And uh, ask any of your questions down below. Let me know your thoughts. You know, if you can discuss your thoughts on Nike, thoughts on the sneaker market, thoughts on these pairs I brought up. Let me know your thoughts. Do you think it's accurate or not? I'd love to hear it. But uh, yeah, I hope to see you on my IGs down below. I'm posting a new pick today. I should be on the Futuros uh, since we do have a release date for those, May 10th. Hopefully you guys are ready. <laughs> I mean, yeah, I'm ready, but I mean, it's like I'm ready. I'm ready to pay resale, basically. You know what I mean? Because, uh, yeah, retail on hitting retail on those is going to be like way harder than born and raised, even. You know how hard it was to hit manual on those. It's going to be even harder than that by like a, like a good percentage. So that's what I'll leave it at. But uh, yeah, let me know your thoughts on everything. Subscribe and like for more content here. Just trying to tune our likes on the channel. And uh, yeah, just let me know your thoughts below. I already said that, but. I'm on that screen recording. I've been talking for too long. I got to edit this. So, you know, it's like when I'm talking, I got to think about everything I have to edit too. But I'll catch you all in the next one. Hopefully that screen recording saved. I'll see you all then. Peace. <laughs>